What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today I kind of have some bad news because the Genesis' problem is not what I thought it was. Also on a side note, I'm recording with a new camera and mic so I got a whole new setup going. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments. But back to the Genesis, the issue that it's having is not what I initially thought and I, I told you guys to put ideas in the comments of the last video just to like give your input on what you guys thought it could be and a lot of people said it was probably a fuel related issue which is what I initially thought it was some people also said it could have been idler pulley which if it was either of those two problems that would have been that would have been fine like that's not a super expensive complicated fix but unfortunately I really don't think that's the problem that it's having because if the issue was fuel system related I'd most likely be getting some kind of fuel cut and I would lose some power out of that and I haven't noticed any power loss and the other one was was idler pulley and I've, I've checked all my pulleys and it's it's definitely not my idler pulley the other thing it could have been was my ignition system or like my starter motor or something I've checked all that stuff that stuff seems to be fine but I did a lot of digging and I got some outside input from people who are pretty experienced with this kind of thing and unfortunately myself and all the people I've talked to have come to the conclusion that this is a valve train issue which just sucks so unfortunately this is not gonna be a cheap fix and we've narrowed it down to valve lifters that's what is making the ticking noise because valve lifter issues they make a sound in lower rpms but as soon as you get into a higher rpm range it, it gets really quiet to basically to the point where you can't even here and that is exactly what my car is doing so that's kind of where I'm at um, I have to get my valve train fixed and I would do it myself because that would save a lot of costs involved in it but the thing is is I've never done this before so I'm not drained or qualified to take a head apart and taking a head apart is pretty complicated and you could easily mess up something like timing or something like that and I really don't want to screw something up so I'm just gonna let a professional take care of it um but I don't know how long this is gonna take or when I'll be able to take it in and this just really sucks because this just puts a delay and puts a hold on videos that I wanted to make and now I have to wait to make them and because there's not much I can do with bad valve lifters if I drove it right now with bad valve lifters I would most likely end up messing something up in the valve train even more but i do have a video that i recorded before this happened so i will be uploading that and now i want to move into the next topic of this video and i'm kind of conflicted on this so i've kind of been throwing around two ideas in my head on what to do with this car because part of me is worried i mean this car is at 74,000 miles having valve train problems and that just makes me think the previous owners really didn't take care of this car because i've done everything i can to make sure this car is solid and happy and healthy and I daily this car and I drive it like a baby most of the time. Like I really don't beat on this car that often. So I've been throwing on the two options of one, either fixing it and selling it or fixing it and keeping it. And if I sold the car, I really don't really have a good idea on what I would replace it with. I mean, I could go with another Genesis and get like a manual 3.8. That'd be something different. That's definitely an option. But if I were to go with that option and I did sell the car, it wouldn't happen anytime soon. It happened later on. And if I keep the car, I would just build it the way I've been wanting to, which was eventually do a big turbo build and go that route. But yeah, I've been throwing around these ideas and you know, this has kind of been a good update on kind of, you know, where the Genesis is at and its problem. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.